Hey YouTube, Nefertiti Artist here with another makeup tutorial for you. This makeup tutorial is inspired by Viper from the movie The Wolverine. I just decided to go ahead and do this particular makeup look because I like green and I like Viper. So hopefully you enjoy this look. Also please don't forget to rate and subscribe if you like this video. And enjoy! Alrighty, first you're going to start off with a primer on your eyes. I like to use Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the original formula an emollient brush by MAC. Next up, I follow it up with Bitch Slap Cosmetics Corrector in Alabaster. Just to mute out any color that may be on my eyes so I can get the most vibrant color on my eyeshadows. After that, I do fill in my eyebrows with Spiked by MAC. blend out that, those two lines that I drew to fill in my brows with a spoolie and then I fill in the tails. On this particular spoolie that I use I've got a actual angled brush on the other end so I dipped that in my corrector by MAC NW50 and this is their studio finish concealer. I go under my brow with the angled brush with the concealer on both brows, and then I drag it down. And then I blend everything out with this eye blending brush by e.l.f. It's like a dollar at Target. Let's make sure that this concealer is really nice and smooth. Under both brows. Then I like to use my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush E45 and dipping that in Max Bottle Green, blending that all throughout my crease. Blend, blend, blend. Then I'm taking my Sleek Makeup Eye Divine Ultra Matte V2 palette and using the green shade out of there with that same E45 brush from Sigma, blending that all throughout my crease. If you want to get a sharper crease, you can also use Sigma's E47 and it'll be more concentrated color directly in your crease versus being blown out in the whole eye. For this particular look, I wanted it to be a tad bit dramatic, so I did blow it out a little bit more. Next up, I'm using Saddle dipped on a fluffy brush I have by MAC. It's a blending brush. I don't know what particular number it is, but if you look it up on the website, I'm pretty sure you can find it. And on this, I blend downwards with Saddle just to go ahead and smooth out and blend out some of those harsh lines from that green eyeshadow. Next up, I'm using Jealousy by Urban Decay on a flat brush by MAC. This brush is a 213. I blend that all over my lid. Then I use the other side of that same brush with the darker green from the Urban, or excuse me, the Ice, the Sleek Cosmetics Eye Divine Palette. And I blend that from my outer corner out. 
Then I'm using a pencil brush by Sephora dipped into bio green on my inner tear duct area to open up the eye a bit. Now I'm taking that same brush I used that was to blend on the saddle and blending out any harsh lines from where I added the darker green on my outer corner, outer V. And I'm taking a that same brush to blend out with and I did dip that back into another shade of green by MAC. That green was humid. Using a wet wipe to clean up any fallout and to also create that dramatic sharp edge. And now it's foundation time. I did use that, get that from a crafts store. And I blend together two colors, neutral, True Match Super Blendable in Cappuccino and Cool Nut Brown by True Match inside of that little blending tray I have with a stippling brush. That's a cheap old brush I got by e.l.f. as well. And I first mix it up with the handle, dot that over my face, cheeks, forehead, chin, and then blend it with a stippling brush all around. I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. Blending on the bridge of my nose, forehead, hairline, and the eyes, around the nose, around the muzzle area, underneath the chin, temples, the whole full monty. Alright, next up I'm concealing with Bobbi Brown's um, corrector in very deep fist with a concealer brush by Sephora. This is their number 45 Pro Continuum Concealer. And I'm gonna dot, well actually pat that in. I don't particularly care to rub because I find that when you rub, it actually increases concealer building up in the fine lines that may be around your eyes. Plus it's not too hard to skin as well. So I pat, 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 pat that all the way in. Under both eyes. Alright, now it's time for powder with my 160 brush by MAC powder brush. I use chestnut by Ben Nye as well as Topaz. First I do chestnut all around my face. And just buff that out. Just to set the makeup and to have a more flawless, poreless, you know, finish. And now I'm using my blush brush, blush brush by MAC, it's a 109, and I'm dipping that into the lighter shade, which is a topaz, and putting that anywhere um, the sun would naturally hit for my highlight, under my eyes, bridge of my nose, bottom of my chin. And I'm blending that out. And my forehead, of course. And I'm now using my Sleek Cat Lips. This is the Contour Kit in the Dark. Highlighting my nose, under my chin, top of my lip, where my cupid bow is, under my eyes, over my eyebrows. And I use this with the darker of the shimmers. And then I'm now using um, an angled brush, face brush by MAC. I think this is discontinued. I got it at one of those um, second, not second hand, but you know, the stores that sell over stock. 
It's like ten dollars, I think. I'm using that dark in my contour in my cheek, followed up with a brush by Sephora to blend it out. It's their Pro Flawless Airbrush Brush. Say fifty six. And then I'm gonna go back and highlight underneath that contour to really make my jawbone pop. Now I'm contouring the bridge of my nose to give me a more defined nose. This is a pro angled shadow brush by Sephora, dipped in the dark contour out of my sleep contour face kit. brush by MAC. Now I'm blending on blush by Fashion Fair. This particular color is Chocolate Chip with a cheapo and fresh blush brush I got from Walmart. And that would be NARS Albatross. I'm going to use a flat brush I got from ELF. Blending that into my brow bone. Also using an angled brush now on my inner tear duct with that albatross as well to make it pop. I'm gonna take that same angled brush and dip it back into that green, which is humid by MAC. Going underneath the middle of my eye, sweeping it outwards. And that would be color design lipstick that I'm putting on. It was a free sample I received. I believe from Land Club. Maybe that's the I'll have to check it and put it in the description box below. That's the Fix Plus to set the makeup. And here's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please rate and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll have some more tutorials pretty soon. I'll see you until next time. You have a great one. Later.